What is going on everybody, Birdman here, back with another Suicide Squad Kills the Justice League video. In today's video, we're going to talk about Master Weapons. Now, this is something that really hasn't been discussed a whole lot by anyone that I'm seeing currently, but just like in general, I don't think this is something that they really promoted with the game itself. Uh, and it's kind of confusing some people, so I really just want to kind of like go over it real fast with everyone. But before I get into the video, know you can follow me over on YouTube and Twitter at Birdman778. Give a thumbs up on this video and let me know what you're interested in, whether it is Shark, Harley, Deadshot, or Boomerang gameplay. Uh, subscribe and become a member now let's jump right on into it so once you hit a certain point of the game you are obviously going to start getting these infamy and notorious weapons a whole lot more often uh, these are going to essentially be like those end game kind of weapons that are going to carry you throughout the, the rest of the game honestly uh, more than anything but there is something that is kind of hidden in here whenever you're getting these pieces of gear to help level you up as you go through and that is going to be that master prefix uh, essentially the master prefix is pretty obvious if you see it right here i have this master punch through it has a dps of over 3000 but if i go down to this one that i got before is a just regular punch through and has dps of 1900 now this is the exact same tier and i got it from the exact same set of end game um, from both of them from each other so this is essentially just going to be that upgraded version now i'm not exactly sure if this is something that is going to come only from just doing those higher tiers or if it also will be implemented from finishing the final hostile takeover mission from Lex Luthor. I definitely recommend doing this just because I did it and then afterwards I started noticing that I was getting those. So this is something that would be super beneficial for you. But also, as you can see, I've done all of my side mission character stuff here. So definitely recommend doing that um, just to one, make your life just a whole lot more easy, in my opinion, but also you get effects like the supercharging affliction for your melee and your grenade from Ivy. You're able to get the eliting from Toy Master, and then obviously, ideally starting to get those master weapons from your just random drops. Now, again, is this just going to be on weapons? No, it is also going to be on our melee, our grenade, our charms, our neck mods, traversal mods, and our shield mods. Now, obviously I'm kind of like spread out between here. So like if you see this traversal mod, I have a master give tribute. I had some other versions of it. Look, you can just see like a regular touch down here as well. So this kind of just goes back and forth depending on uh, which ones you get. But obviously these are gonna be the ones that you're going to want the most just because they're going to have those higher numbers of damage and prefixes for you to succeed. So when you go back to the Hall of Justice, I wanted to really kind of focus on this as well. The master weapons are going to be even more useful whenever you are taking them to Toy Man because you are able to elite those. Why is this important? Well, because I'm able to go in here, I am select my shotgun, I have this master punch through, and if I elite it, I'm able to change those uh, prefixes, those passives on all three of those uh, pieces. Now, do note that if you are going to elite something, it's going to take one of those nth metal, it's going to be that blue icon uh, on your cost bar. Those ones are much more rare. And obviously, as you are going to like higher tiers, you're going to cost more of those. So you need to utilize those as much as humanly possible. So definitely don't be using them on something that isn't master, in my opinion, unless it is just a weapon that you just haven't seen for the longest time. It's working out for you and you think it's valuable. Fine, sure, go for it. But I definitely recommend it is something to just use on those master prefixes. And again, before when I was mentioning that IV is able to supercharge items as well, again, I kind of keep the same thought with that uh, just for the fact that again uh, I'm going to supercharge this master come through here come at me here um, definitely worthy of doing that but also again um, once I hit that third rank I have to use up three of those nth metal currencies so I definitely don't want to use up too many of those on something that isn't exactly super useful so uh, this one pretty solid it's master rarity it's giving me a good amount of damage and has like prefixes that I like so I will use it on that but again master weapons are going to be the one thing you're going to want to supercharge and elite more than anything. Do note, I don't think that you're able to create any of these master weapons through Penguin, unfortunately, with the crafting, uh, at least for right now. As you go through here, you pretty much just see regular and there's no prefix with him whenever you are looking at the map and all the different buffs that he is able to give. Uh, it doesn't mention anything about uh, being able to craft master weapons. So again, that's more something that's going to be good throughout the campaign, I would say. And whenever you're 
uh, just kind of doing that. But as soon as you hit that end game, uh, the incursions and everything here are going to be the best option for you. Thanks so much for watching the video, everyone. I hope you really enjoyed. Again, if you are interested in any of the other characters other than King Shark, uh, who is pretty much going to be my main uh, throughout most of the game, let me know uh, and I will start covering them as well. But until then, make sure you're liking the video, uh, subscribing and becoming a member and follow me over on YouTube and Twitter at Burban778. Thank you so much. I hope you guys have a great night, day, whatever it may be.